Hi everyone, I'm Mace with Rumsey. Today I'm going to show you in this video how to dialogue from a PanView Plus and then we'll also show you a, a software called Excel Reporter to view some of the data. To start with, you'd have to have a data source. So earlier I used something called Soft, uh, Logics Emulate and I put a, a project in there and it's running and then this is the actual code that's running there and very simply I put in three different data source generators. As you can see, data source two here, data source one, data source three. If you also notice, the time bases are slightly different. This is a second and a half, 1.4 seconds, and this is 1.3 seconds. So that way the data is not always matched in parallel that we're about to view. Then, I already previously set up in Factory Talk View Machine Edition, and I'm using version 10 where I have three different viewpoints of the display object for the accumulation of the timers. Then I have a data reset that will reset all the values in those timers. Then I have a starting DL or data log button that will write a one to wipe out all the values and reset them. Then I have machine edition data store plus. And this object runs through ActiveX on the computer and any of the PanView Pluses, version 6 or later, 6.10 or later, can run this. I strongly recommend version 10, because that is the latest version that came out with a lot of new features, including audit trail to a CSV file to be comply with 21 part CFR 11. So, let's go to Objects, ActiveX Control. As with most objects, you have to draw it. When you let go, you'll see all these choices. If you scroll down somewhere midpoint, you'll see the beginnings of where it says ME. That means these are machine edition features that will run on a PanView Plus. Specifically, we're looking at the ME Data Store Plus object to do a data logging to a CSV file. I'm gonna hit cancel because I already set this up, but I just wanted to show you where that was located. If I open up my object to start with, I always like to start a new file, and this is very popular with other people too. Each day, it will start a new CSV file. And that's pretty much all we do in that tab. Then I always like to select Use Tag Names. That means the columns across the CSV file will have the actual tag names displayed. So this is gets into well, if you had uh, time temperature settings and all these other things that you want to log, now those columns will make sense to you. Down at the bottom, if you notice, it says log every one second. You could make it longer, but not shorter. This is an HMI, so keep in mind you really want to have uh, your logging to be not um, a very, very fast expectations of the HMI. One second is usually fast enough. The idea is here you'll measure temperatures or pressure points. That would be maybe ma many times a minute measured, but not every second or faster than a second. It's just not the intent for this particular data log model. Then below there, I always like to select log system, time and date, as well as the time zone, just for your, your if you, you're an OEM out there and you ship to some other parts of the country or even overseas, you might want to actually have the local uh, time zone selected there. Down below, I don't usually use those features. Common, that's just like any other objects. That's the positioning on the canvas. If you make these height and width uh, a large number, you probably are aware that it will move off the canvas and you won't see it. Now that's important if you look in the instructions of four uh, Rockwell's PanView Pluses or a really great document from Excel Reporter has screenshots how to set this up too. They both mention that this ActiveX option has to be running all the time if you want to have data collected when you're not on the screen. And the way you do it is on top and never replace. And those are in the document to help you out get that set up correctly. Then the position is just like it sounds like. Um, that's also where you can get a position on the canvas or off the canvas depending what you want. Connections is the very important tab. The top is specifically saying where do you want to put this CSV file and what do you want to call it. The beginning says on this example, because I'm writing to a C colon or a computer like thing in, in VMware, it's going to be C colon slash the folder name and then the file name. You could have it deep in multiple folders just like any other window function. I have it PVP data 
and logfile.csv is the folder, the file name. Um, if you notice, there are quotations around that. That tells the ActiveX specifically how to write that file and dynamically change it. Below it is the trigger. That would be a bit that I put in this case in the emulate to actually tell the data log model, uh, the ActiveX model, when to start and stop. And then you have the actual value points, the three sources I showed earlier in the timers. So I'll just hit cancel and I'll hit the test display to show you how this works. I'll minimize my logics. And then I'll go to C colon PVP data. And now you'll see there's the log file starting. And if you look at my screen, these are the values being written every second. As soon as I hit the data log model begin. And when you notice this is running, you see this little green bar that tells you it's active. If you notice the time and date stamp, it just coordinated to my computer's date and lets you know that it's actually being written to. If you also are noticing that it's actually popping up at the top as soon as it's written to, and then this other consolidated is my next subject that Excel Reporter relates to. Excel Reporter and accompanied with this video, you'll have a link for these documents for Excel Reporter, is by Cytex and it's a fantastic software, very reasonable cost to data log and, correct and create reports, uh, a lot of materials, graphics, uh, a whole bunch of features that I think you'd like. What I did simply just to demonstrate for you today is I hit online on-demand reports and I generated this. This is basically a dynamic setting of data that's being flowed into a, a chart. I set this up previously. You can see I have a, a scope of where I'm collecting the data, what time range and date. And then I went to options, content, and I told it to update the existing report constantly and how often? Every five seconds. So that's why when I first went to this, you saw this was adjusting and modifying. You can see the value right here is writing, it's increasing and the timer uh, that's in the uh, emulator automatically resets to zero and that's where you get the sawtooth effect. If you're interested in viewing the data, you can actually stop it, excuse me, you can stop it and hit data and this is all the data from the emulate set of counters and timers. You can see where it doesn't change until they hit the pulse for the data logger. If you want to see it in Excel, of course, you could just double click on the CSV file, or if you installed Excel inside VMware, you'd be fine there. Double click, auto set the columns, and as you can see, there's a time and date stamp to expect, and here's the data values in Excel. This data can be stored on the PanView Plus, on a USB stick stuck into the PanView Plus, a USB hard drive, or you can actually put it on an FTP folder on the PanView Plus to have other sources connect to it, like Excel Reporter on a computer. And that's all I have today for this particular video. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, contact myself, Mace Bittman, or anybody else with the Rumsey Solutions Groups, or go to rumsey.com for more help. Thank you.